Hello, everyone. My name is Del Ellis, and of course, my wife, Sonia. And we're coming to you today with negotiation tip number two. Now, what is our next step to the negotiation process? Of course, after we're building rapport, you always want to build rapport first. Of course, the answer to this question is what we call qualifying. Now, qualifying is kind of like finding out, you know, and I'm a fisherman, you know, are we going to fish or cut bait? Of course, a fisherman never wants to cut bait because that means they're going home, okay? But we need to find out, hey, are these people for real? Are they serious? Are they just, you know, trying to get information from us and not make a decision? We also, a thing about qualifying is all the decision makers are, are, are there and can make the quality decision, all right? So that's qualifying. Well, why is this so important? Well, the reason why it's so important is because most uh, negotiators, salesmen, or consultants, what they do is they're just like the Italian chef. And what I mean by that is a, a chef that's cooking spaghetti, how they tell it's done is they keep throwing it and throwing it and throwing it against the ceiling and they're hoping, you know, it sticks. And that's how they tell it's done. The problem with most negotiators, consultants, or salespeople is they keep talking about things that doesn't mean anything through these people. They're trying to sell them things that they don't even want, and they're basically wasting their time, number one. And number two, they're not even finding out if this person's for real or not. So with this episode, we're going to talk about these things to help you, to help them. Because if you can get enough people to get what they want, you can get what you want. Okay? Now... What's a good way to qualify our potential client or our prospect? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Well, remember, I love acronyms. N-E-A-D is my acronym that I'm going to use today. Well, the N stands for what do they have now? Now, if they don't have something now, we find out, well, do you have a friend that has something now? Of course, my favorite question is, do you want as good as your friend or would you like something better? <laughs> Hopefully, they say better. Most of the time, they do say better. And then, of course, the E stands for, what do they enjoy about it? Now, they're not going to want to give this up. Now, I have a raw honey business, okay? Before I knew about raw honey and how great it was for you, you know, I, I love sugar. I was born on a milk and candy bar, and every night before we went to bed, you know, we had a milk and candy bar before we went to bed. All right. Well, it's, sugar's not very good for you, but, but, you know, I enjoyed the sweetness of it. So that leads me into the next question we want to ask. What would you alter or what would you change? You see, nobody wants to give up what they enjoy if there is the right alternative or the right solution for that. So for me, I changed all my cooking from using sugar to I use raw honey. Now, they both are sweet, which I love. But what I don't love about the sugar, what I want to change is I was waking up with a hangover and I knew it wasn't very good for me, which with honey, I don't. So the E and the A. Now, on the E, let me step back a little bit. I'd like to get three things to find out, three things that you enjoy, okay? And then on the A or the change, I'd like to get three things there. So we'll say one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six. And the reason why I mention this is because we're going to use that information to come up with what I call our decisional question. So, for example, if I was talking to Sonia and I go, Sonia, if I could get you, you know, the one, two, and three things that you super enjoy, and of course get you the four, five, and six that, you know, you, you have to change, would there be anything stopping you? Now, we're going to find out right now, you know, hopefully if a salesperson said this to her, she'd, she'd say something like, yeah, I have to talk to my husband. <laughs> hopefully. Probably not going to happen, but, you know, we could, only, you know, we could always wish for good things, right? Or she could say, well, it depends. And then you'd say, well, it depends on what? And she'd say, well, it depends on how much. Now, what's interesting about that, as I was taught by uh, uh, one of my mentors, J. Douglas Edwards, he says, whenever you get hit with an objection, call, you know, it happens all the time, brag about it first or mention it first is what I say. So let's, let's, let's talk about this money thing for a second because we want to include that in our decisional question. So I do it like this. So, yeah, if I could get you the things that you enjoy, the one and the two and the three, and of course, you know, those things that you have to change and change right away, the four or five and six. And if I could do this within your budget, would there be anything stopping you? Now, 
like I said before, Hope said, well, I'd have to talk to my husband, or they might say I have to talk to my attorney, I have to, you know, I got more than one people involved in the decision-making process, and if that's the case, in selling, whenever we get in trouble, we want to ask a question. But if that's the true case of the matter is, is at that point, I have to go, okay, I don't want to really talk about price right now. I just want to find out right now, you know, how I can get another meeting with not only Sonia, my wife, but, you know, her mom or who, her daughter or whoever else might be involved. And hopefully that makes sense to you. So why is qualifying so important besides, you know, talking about things that don't matter to them? Well, the most effective negotiators, the most successful ones are the ones who know how to qualify. And that's why I'm sharing with this with you now. This is, you know, step two, okay? Don't forget to ask, what do they have now? What do they enjoy? Get, you know, three things that they enjoy minimum. Number four, find out what they'd alter or change. Okay, take all that information, you know, put together your decisional question. Don't forget to mention the money. But I don't like the word money, you know, the numbers, the budget, you know, things of this sort. My name is Delos, and today it was my pleasure to bring you negotiating tip number two on qualifying. My wife and Sonia were passionate about changing lives, and I know if you'll take this and employ this, It'll change your life for the better. Have a great day.